All right, guys, welcome back to your 19th, I think, tutorial. And in this lesson, we can go ahead and start building that table. And remember, this table is the one that we want to store the results of our very first formula, our very first predictor. So let me go ahead and I already opened my cPanel. I'm sorry, I didn't show you guys me opening it. But I'm going to go ahead and hop into PHP My Admin. And once I'm in here, I want to select the database I want to use. And I am working in the database YouTube. Now, again, if we take a look at my code, my code only updates and inserts into a table. It doesn't create a table, so what we need to do is we need to manually create that table. Now, if we hop over my code, it says the table's name is Analysis A. So let me go ahead and copy that beast right there. And that's our table name. And now let's count the number of columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this table is going to have nine columns or nine pieces of information. And now it's going to ask us for all of those crap. So ticker is the company name. This is going to be a varchar. And we'll just give it, we'll make this the primary key. And I think that's right there under index. Now the primary key, remember, is like the unique identifier in since the ticker, I mean, if we look at all the other things, the days increase, the percentage of days increased, they can, you know, maybe share, um, what's it? They can share values. So the ticker is the only thing in this table that's going to be unique. So that's why I chose the primary key for that. Now we need to go through all of these, and I actually wrote them down on a piece of paper next to me. So this is what information we're going to have in this table. Days increased this is going to be the number of days that the stock increased and that's going to be integer you can't have like a day and a half so the next thing is percent of days increased inc and this is actually going to be a float you can have like 18 and a half percent where you have float float so now the only thing i'm going to have for increase is average increase percent and this is going to be like does it increase by an average of two percent or three percent or somewhere around there is probably typical so this is also going to be a float so now we want to do the exact same things for decrease how many days did it decrease and I want to make sure that I spell that yep days decreased there we go percentage of days decreased and this is also going to be a float and average decrease <coughs> oh, that's wonderful average decrease percent now after this we have two more why well remember I made that weird custom thing called Bucky's buy value and Bucky's sell value so I decided I might as well go ahead and insert those into the database too Bucky's buy value is a float and Bucky's sell value is also a float. So now what we want to do is go down here and let's see, save or add. This always confuses me. Okay, should I pick save or add? Save or add? I'm just going to go ahead and hit add, or excuse me, save, and it says that is not a number. What do we have that doesn't make sense? Oh, we need a value for this. I'm just going to go ahead and put 8 and okay should be good to go so save this beast and check it out we now have a table created called analysis a and if we look at the structure of it we can verify okay ticker days inc nine pieces of information it all looks good to go um, I'm gonna stop the video and make sure that I didn't spell anything wrong and in the next video what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be running this script and once we run it hopefully it's gonna run through all of these companies analyze the data from all of these tables and insert the results into this table called analysis a so there you have it that's what I'm gonna do thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys then